Yo guys, hello and welcome. Today's video is five tips for you to help combat anxiety and depression and the things that you can do every day and incorporate into your life. Um, so my very first one would be to relax. So you need to start to learn tools um, to relax, whether that's Tai Chi or meditation or yoga. While we're on the yoga subject, you can buy my Yoga for Anxiety DVD. It's $30 and all proceeds are going towards Beyond Blue. So get yourself to a local yoga studio and start to you know, prioritize and, and put yourself first. So when we are relaxed, um, the body through the deep breathing sends a message to the brain to start to relax and, and loosen up and the body will follow suit. Okay, so we'll start to relax everything. So that's your first tip. The second one is to really look at your health. So you want to make sure that you're having enough sleep every night. And if you're not, how you can incorporate more sleep into your life and that it is quality sleep as well, that you're not on the computer and TV right up till the time you go to sleep. So make sure all of that is out of the bedroom and maybe some soft music or meditation can get you in the mood for a good night's sleep. Um, a lot of us tend to think that we're relaxed and distracting ourselves through something like computer and, and TV and it's actually quite a false state of relaxation. Temporarily, yes, like alcohol and drugs and tobaccos, it might temporarily relax you, but long term it's not going to help you to be a relaxed person in, a, in that state. So just make some changes at home and you can do that and share that with perhaps the people that you're living with. And while we're on the health, look at the foods that you're eating and digesting, make sure you're drinking plenty of water, fruits and vegetables and all your healthy fats and proteins. So the more healthy we are, the, the better our brain can function as well. So they're my two tips. The third one leads me to connection, which is a really special one. And a lot of us that are experiencing anxiety and depression, you'll find that that'll be one of the first things that will go is to, to disconnect. Um, so saying no to going out on the weekend, saying no to maybe even a phone call, just dismissing phone calls and that sort of thing. So it's really important that you connect with people that you, you love. And maybe if there's people around you that um, are toxic in your life, maybe you look, need to look at whether they're serving a purpose in your life. More on that in another video. But take time out. Go and connect with family and friends. And it's always remarkable because you find that a lot of people are in fact e experiencing commonly what you are experiencing too. So take the time to chat and connect and you know really work on those bonds with family and friends. The other one I've got is, um, is really about nature. And this is a big one for me. I know that when I'm working a lot and spending time with kids and I'm spending a lot of time at home and I've disconnected with nature, I can get, feel like I'm really kind of flighty, yeah? Up here, I don't really feel centered. So for you to feel grounded and in, in touch with the earth, and, and earth, earth is, a, is a, a common phrase that a lot of you will know, you need to get yourself out into nature. So going for a walk in a park or finding a nearby river or pond or a beach or whatever it is, get out amongst that and that can make a huge difference to your general state of health. And finally is appreciating the small things. Okay? We, tend to, when we're experiencing anxiety and depression, we tend to kind of let the negative stuff feed up. Um, or, or, so we might think, for example, a negative thing might happen when we wake up in the morning and then we continue to a, a, attract and attract and attract and attract it to the point that we just go, we just had a really bad day. Yeah, why don't you choose to have a good day? So when you wake up, maybe being appreciative for your body, uh, appreciative for your health, appreciative for the beautiful place that you live in. What about the sheets that you're sleeping in? What about when you go to make your breakfast and you, you notice maybe your, maybe it's a seed or a fruit that you're about to eat and look at that piece of, of food and think about where it's come from, how far it's had to travel to get to your plate. Who would have picked it? Yeah, who, who would have planted it? Who would have picked it? If it's traveled on, on a boat or however it's got to wherever you are, through a car, through a truck, whatever it might be, it's then gone into a store or some sort of place for you to purchase it from. You've purchased it, you've touched it, you've driven home and you put it in your fridge or in your home. So wow, what a journey this piece of food has gone through. So start to appreciate the small things. Okay, so there's my five tips today. 
Um, as I mentioned, the Yoga for Anxiety DVD is on sale and all proceeds go towards Yo uh, Beyond Blue. So check it out, it's only $30. Help me support others that are experiencing anxiety and depression. I hope this has helped. Namaste.